Hello there friends and uh, welcome to this video about uh, the WordPress customizer API. And in this video, uh, we're going to create this uh, very simple yet beautiful looking uh, full landing page. And uh, we're going to use the WordPress customizer API to create this one and some simple HTML and uh, CSS. Nothing too fancy and uh, it should be relatively quick. But first, uh, let's uh, go through the uh, customizer API itself and see uh, how to work with it, how to include it, and uh, what we can do with it. Okay, so uh, let's talk a little bit about the customizer API and uh, why we should use it. So it's for uh, minimizing the risk uh, of the client destroying the site. Um, the client uh, won't destroy a block in the new Gutenberg uh, editor if they're using uh, the customizer. And um, they can't really do anything wrong here uh, that would break uh, the site. And we all know the, the, the client, uh, if they want to change anything on the page, especially if you have a front, front page or a landing page, uh, if they want to add or edit something on that page using the uh, Gutenberg uh, customizer, sorry, the Gutenberg uh, block editor. Uh, it's easy to, to destroy something and uh, then uh, destroy your whole site. So that's why I, uh, I, I recommend using the, uh, the customizer API for the front page, uh, landing pages, uh, and so on. All right, and where can we find it? Well, we can find it in the uh, appearance menu in the back end of your uh, WordPress installation. And in the parents uh, menu, you just uh, choose the customize option and that will take you to uh, the, uh, the customizer. All right, so uh, next there, uh, what is it? Uh, well, the customize API is object oriented and there are four main types of objects. Uh, so it's section, settings, controls and uh, panels objects. And uh, the settings connects the UI and save it to the database. The settings uh, also handles the uh, live preview. So when you change something in the customizer, you can see it uh, update live on the site. And uh, the sections are containers for uh, the controls. Uh, so that's what you see in the menu. And then the controls determines uh, what you can change. And uh, controls must be associated with a setting, right? So you have, uh, can have a control uh, without a setting. So that's important to uh, remember. And for each object, there's an uh, add, get, and remove method. And these methods uh, work with an ID. And uh, we, we, you can name the ID uh, anything you want there. And we will go through this. Um, a little bit later when we're uh, working with uh, the customizer to create uh, an example and then our um, full screen uh, landing page. Uh, it's not recommended to use the get method since it will risk the uh, functionality of the whole site. Um, so it's better to use the add uh, method for, um, for the customizer. Um, then you can also add some custom controls um, so you add the custom control, um, use uh, the function uh, wp underscore customize underscore control and notice the capital uh, letters wp and every word needs to be uh, capitalized. And then uh, we use it to add uh, JavaScript features such as a color picker or to handle images. So it's, uh, it's very useful. Uh, to use the customized control. And we will take a look at an example when we upload our uh, background image for the full screen landing page. All right, so let's uh, take a closer look at uh, some examples. All right, so we're in the file structure and I'm using uh, VS Code. So first thing I'm gonna do is open up the uh, functions.php uh, in my uh, theme that I created, uh, the YouTube underscore CIY theme. And if you watch my previous videos, you recognize 
this theme since uh, it's the same theme we've been working on before. All right, so let's first uh, talk about the uh, the customizer, and we need to use a hook for um, the uh, customizer to uh, to load, and we do that by uh, first create a function, and you can create this. Uh, you can name this function uh, whatever you want. I'm just going to uh, name it um, CIY underscore customize. And then uh, customizer register, and uh, we need to uh, include the uh, WP customize hook here. So the hook looks like this: WP underscore customize. All right, so that's the uh, that's the function, and um, we also need to tell WordPress uh, to load this whole function. Otherwise, it won't understand. Um, What's uh, uh well, otherwise WordPress won't won't uh load uh, our function here, so we do that by add action, the add action function, and it takes in two parameters. First, it takes in the preloaded uh from WordPress called custom uh customize uh underscore register, and then the name of the function we created up here so ciy underscore customize register so i'm just gonna copy this one put it down here and then uh, semicolon at the end all right so that's that all right so next let's uh, fill this one and uh, the first uh, object we're going to use is um, add section all right so if we go back to our we're going to our back end of our uh, WordPress installation here. Um, so you can find the customizer in appearance. And then we can use the customize uh, option here. That takes us to uh, the customizer. All right, so section is this one here. This is a section, site identity. Menus is another section. Home page settings is another section. And additional CSS. There's uh, uh, another section. So we're going to add a section of our own. So let's uh, use um, the um, the hook VP underscore customize. And remember, uh, we have to use a, a method here. And uh, we have to use the add method. All right, so add method right like that and uh, we are going to, uh, to add uh, a, a, a method uh, for uh, for section so add section and uh, in this section uh, we're just going to um, uh, bring in uh, an uh, person uh, ID section ID so I'm just gonna call it uh, my. Oh, it has to be a string as well. My underscore section, and then an array because we need to fill this one with some uh, cool stuff. So let's do that array, and then hit enter. And then understand it with a semicolon right there. All right. So let's um, first. What we need to do is add a title. And uh, in this title, to um, uh, first we have to add two uh, underscores, and then uh, a string. And I'm just gonna call it my section, okay? And then we need to uh, bring in uh, the uh, the package for our theme. So this is the package for our theme: YouTube underscore CIY. Just gonna copy this one. And uh, paste it in there. Then a comma because we need to add a few more things. And then a description, so uh, the client or the user knows what this uh, what this does. And I'm just to make it a little bit 
nicer looking. It's gonna add them there. Okay, same here. Uh, double underscore, uh, parentheses, and uh, let's make it this a string as well. Just gonna write here is my section. Then a comma, because we need to add one more thing. We need to add the uh, priority. All right. So the priority uh, decides where in uh, this list uh, it's going to show up. Um, so each of these uh, menus here, menu items, they have a priority number. All right. So in order to uh, um, put them in a, in a certain order, you have to put in the priority number. All right. So we're going to put in the priority number of um, 220 like this and you can find a full list of uh, the priority numbers and uh, which ones that are taken already in the uh, codex um, so i will leave a link in the description but here's so here you can see uh, some of the or the order here so additional css as you can see has a uh, priority of 200 and if we go back here to our back end you can see additional css is uh, last on this list. So what I usually do is I uh, put the priority um, under two uh, over two hundred, so they uh, they uh, show up last or below the additional CSS. So it's easy for me to find my custom um, sections here. All right, so let's uh, head back here to our uh, um, file structure and let's save this one. Now let's try and up, uh, update here uh, back end. And as you, can see, um, as you can see, nothing is showing up yet. So let's head back here because we need to add the uh, the setting as well. So same here, we use the same hook, uh, vp underscore customize. And um, this time we're going to add uh, the setting. So same here, add underscore setting. All right, and again here, let's uh, add an ID. So I'm going to do setting ID. So easy to remember for this for this uh, this example. Then an array. Just uh, hit enter, and then I'll uh, close it off with a semicolon. And then let's fill this one with some information here. So first, with the default, add some default information, and for the default, same here double underscore and then um, just fill it with a string so some nice text and then uh, again we need to use the uh, YouTube underscore CIY the package for the uh, the theme you uh, actually it's uh, YouTube underscore CIY because we need to add the type and the type you have two options uh, one is theme mod like this and then uh, the other one is actually option all right so what's the difference here between these two well option is uh, global so even if you change your theme this uh, setting or this uh, section um, or the setting will still uh, be there so you can use it for any any theme and then theme mod is uh, local so it's for this specific theme only all right so theme mod so is for this specific theme um, only all right so it's recommended to use um, uh, theme mod uh, to keep it as local as possible um, so very few examples you would actually use for other themes uh, the same um, settings um, right okay so let's save this one and let's go back here to our back end and refresh and it's still nothing showing up yet uh, because we haven't set up our uh, control yet all right so uh, let's take a quick look here at the site identity okay so um, the setting is uh, this one here all right and then uh, sorry it's the uh it's this here uh sets there and then for the control 
um, it sets uh, this uh, site title section there. All right, so let's uh, go back here to our uh, code and let's add the uh, the control. All right, so same hook as the as the mice. This time we're going to add a control control like this, and then use. Uh, here we have to use, as I said, we have to associate or connect this one with a setting. So we're going to use the settings ID. So here's, we remember we named this ID here to setting underscore ID. So the same here, setting ID. And then an array. And then a semicolon to close that one off. And now we need a label, okay? So we can easily easily recognize this one. All right, same uh, for all these titles. Uh, double underscore parenthesis and a string. Uh, let's name it the text. And then uh, I'm going to add a YouTube CIY, which is the uh, again the package for the theme. So I paste it in there. comma and uh, then uh, a type okay so the type is what kind of uh, field this is so this is a text area and then what section this one belongs to because you can have different sections here obviously um, so uh, it's uh, my section up there. That's the ID for this one. Um, so my underscore section right there. And then again, we need to set the priority. And the priority for this one is going to be number one, because it's going to show up first. So if we take a look here at the uh, back end, so uh, the priority is these are two different uh, settings and controls. So this one has uh, priority one because it shows up first, and this has priority two because it's the second one. So that's uh, what we have to do here as well because uh, you might have many different controls and settings in one section. Uh, if you only have one, well, then obviously you don't need to add it. Um, but uh, just for this example, I'm going to add it so you can see uh, what it does. So let's save this one and uh, let's uh, refresh. And here you can see my section, all right? So you can see uh, the uh, description for the section. Uh, here's my section. And then you have the label for uh, the controller, the text, and the text area right here. And in here you have the um, default text from the, the setting. So if you haven't put anything in there now, this text will show it. So it's just not an empty empty space. All right, so as you can see, there's nothing showing up here. So that's because we haven't brought in to our uh, uh, front page just yet. Okay, so let's uh, do that so you can see um, what it looks like. So let's uh, head back to our uh, front page. Okay, so this is all you can see here. Um, hello from frontpage.php. So let's add it under here. So I'm um, going to add an h2 tag since I already have an h1 tag. Now we need a function um, from PHP. So let's open up a PHP function like this. Then we need to echo because we want to write out um, the uh, the data from uh, from a function there. And next we need to get the get method. And get, remember we had theme mod in our functions uh, right here in our settings um, uh, field. So we have to use this one, theme mod, to, uh, to output uh, the information. So get, theme mod 
and then we are going to need the uh, setting ID. So first parameter is setting ID. So just gonna copy and then paste it in here as a string. And then to display the um, the default text, we actually need to manually put it in here. So some nice text there, right? Then semicolon and close this one up with a PHP ending. Let's head back to our uh, site and let's uh, refresh. All right, so as you can see that you, we now have this one, hello there. And let's uh, try to change this one to see if it works. So it should update live, all right? So I, I'm just going to delete the exclamation mark. As you can see, the exclamation mark is gone. And if we delete more, you can see it's uh, deleting um, live. And uh, let's save this one. So I'm just going to click publish. All right, and as you can see here, the uh, section that is done. So let's just refresh to make sure. It's all good. So it's still there. Let's take a look at our front end. So you see, so it still works there as well. All right, so we got hello, just as we changed. And if we go back to our customizer, my section, and it's going to update the end. Hello there. Publish. And uh, let's take a look at the front end. Refresh. And you can see, it's all changed. So this is uh, working just fine. So that's an overview on uh, how the customizer works. So now when we have all this, let's uh, let's make something cool, all right? So let's make that um, full screen landing page because I assume if you're watching, that's why you're watching. You wanna create something cooler than just um, hello there text. All right, so let's do that. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a new page. Just add new. And I'm going to call this uh, page uh, landing page. Pretty straightforward if you're uh, asking me. Landing page like this. And then hit uh, publish. And uh, yes, publish there. And uh, then it's gonna view the page. Uh, all right, so now uh, it's bringing up the index.php, but we will change that. And uh, if you wonder about the file structure and uh, which file is being loaded when and where, I suggest you take a look at my uh, previous video about the file structure in, uh, in WordPress. Uh, so for our sake, let's uh, add some files here in uh, um, in the file in in our code in our theme um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, start with uh, um, the uh, functions for this so uh, you could add your all your code here in in this file functions.php but I prefer to create a separate file just to make it uh, more uh, organized and easier to found, find. So in your includes folder, I'm going to add a new file and uh, I'm going to call it, um, uh, let's see, a good name would be uh, something that easy to remember. Custom, customizer perhaps. Dash uh, customizer dot PHP. All right, so in here, I'm just going to uh, add uh, normal PHP tags. And then I am going to add a comment like this. And in this here, I'm just gonna add a package. And uh, it's a YouTube underscore CIY. And then uh, there's a comment here so we know what's what this file does. So functions for 
our custom settings in the customizer something like that all right so that's uh, that's pretty much it for now let's save this one and uh, another thing we're going to do is we need to create uh, the uh, the landing page okay so in our the root of our theme folder we we'll to create a file and name it first it needs to be named page then uh, dash like this then the name of the uh, slug and for our case it's uh, landing page landing page dot php and in order to find the slug you can just go back here and uh, you have the slug here landing page this is the slug or you could actually just uh, look here this is the slug landing page up there and uh, let's close that one off there right <clears throat> and also here you have um, the uh, URL slug so landing page so we need to put this money all right so that's that so let's uh, actually let's just refresh all right so now this landing page is a blank page and uh, it makes sense since our landing page is uh, is a blank page here as well all right so in here I'm just going to prepare and uh, open up a PHP tag. Same here, just uh, add a comment. And in this one, I'm just going to add uh, the package, which was YouTube underscore CIY. And then uh, just note there. So now it's the uh, landing page. All right, and also I'm going to bring in the header. So get underscore header. So that's uh, that's that, and then just gonna close it off because we are going to bring in more HTML tags here a little bit later on. So first, uh, let's save that one. <clears throat> Nothing's going to happen here on the front end because we have nothing in any of these files. Now let's uh, head back here, and um, we're going to do let's. Uh, yeah, let's add the. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? Let's uh, first add the uh, the files. Let's add this one, uh, the custom customizer, to our functions.php. So let's bring it in. So we know. So WordPress knows that this file exists. So let's do the same here. Require get underscore template underscore directory. And then uh, the location of the file, which is the same uh, folder as the un our, our onq.php file. So let's go into our includes folder. And uh, then custom dash customizer.php. Close it off with a semicolon. All right. And save. So now WordPress knows that this. Uh, File exists and it will include it um, when it loads our, our other files. So we can actually close this down. We don't need it anymore. And in our custom customizer uh, file, let's uh, let's add in the uh, the uh, the function for uh, the customizer. So first, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this function, I'm going to name it the same uh, CIY underscore customizer underscore function. All right, I already had a function in our functions.php. So I'm going to uh, have a different name, otherwise, you will understand. All right, so that's that. All right, so again, we need the hook. So VP underscore customizer. And the first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, let's add uh, the action here. So WordPress knows that this one should be run. All right, add action on the same parameters as last time. So first one is customize uh, underscore register. And then the name of our function. 
So it's this one, CIY customizer function. And end it with a semicolon. All right, so now let's add um, the action. And the first thing we're going to add is um, um, the settings and control for our uh, background image. All right, so first let's add the section for this whole thing. So again, the hook. I start like this, and then um, you need a method of uh, the add section. Let's go section like this. And uh, we're just going to call this section landing page. Easy to remember. Then an array. And then it's going to close it off with a semicolon there, so it's done already. All right, so the title for this one is going to be, um, well, let's just name it landing page. So we know this simple. And then uh, the uh, package for the theme, the theme name ID. Next is the description. Description is to make it a little nicer looking, and uh, the description uh, is going to be uh, first uh, two underscores and then uh, a string. So maybe uh, settings for the landing page, and then uh, we need a priority, and uh, I usually always. I will I'd always put it at the end, at the bottom. So we already made one actually, uh, previously, and then had uh, 220 as priority number. So let's put this one behind or after this one. So 230, okay. All right, now we need to add a setting and a controller in order for this one to, uh, to show up. So let's do that. So first uh, let's do the, uh, uh, the setting. So again, uh, the customizer hook, customizer, and then add setting. Okay, and in this setting, just uh, uh, so this is for the background image, right? So let's just do background image as an ID, and then uh, same again the package YouTube underscore CMY. And uh, uh, well actually, sorry, this is the array. Array, and then uh, no comma, a semicolon instead. And uh, first is the default value. And um, let's uh, put this one. Okay, so for the default value, uh, we need to put in a function called get template directory URI. So let's start with that. Template underscore directory underscore URI and then the parenthesis. Now we need to bring in um, uh, an image here. And I already created a folder in, in the root of my theme folder. I call it IMG. And in this one, I uh, I added a, a picture. I just called coder.png, but it's just a sun sunset or this beautiful image here of uh, the ocean, um, right? So you can you can add uh, this uh, image folder and then an image, uh, whatever you like. But I uh, I suggest you have a high quality image since it's the background image and it's going to take up the whole the whole page. Right, so uh, first, okay, so let's bring it in, in a string, and then uh, go into our ink, sorry, not our ink, uh, image folder. And then uh, the image itself, which is coder.pn, sorry, png. So that's uh, that, all right, next, let's uh, bring in the type. And then, again, this is the uh, uh, theme mod theme on there, right? Good, and then uh, we need to add a control, vp, 
Let's see on the hook, the customizer hook. Then uh, add what's called control. And uh, let's uh, call uh, this. Okay, so this one actually we need to uh, use a custom uh, controller because we need to handle an image. So we need to bring a new, new one, right? So new, like this. And then remember the function uh, wp underscore. Sorry, just uh, capital customize. And this uh, is an image, so we can bring in like this image control. Okay. And this one uh, takes in a couple of parameters. So, first, we need to bring in the, the hook. So, vp underscore just to mice. Customize like that. And I realized I put customizer. Because I've been saying customizer a lot. Sorry about that. So customize like this. Boom. All right. So customize. All right. And then um, the we need the uh, settings ID. Background underscore image. And then the array. So you can see this one is a little bit different. Um, so we bring in the hook and the uh, settings ID in the uh, in our customized uh, controller uh, instead. Okay, but then it follows the same uh, um, so the standards here. So first, let's close this one off with a semicolon, and then the first thing we need here is a label. And in this uh, label. Uh, let's put in double underscore, parenthesis and a string, and it's called background image. Easy to remember. And then uh, the YouTube underscore CIA, YouTube underscore CIY. After the label, we need uh, uh, which uh, associate to a section. Like this, and the section was a landing page, that right? landing score page and then the settings again there to associate it and um, the settings was a background image now right and again a string round the score image and then the priority just since uh, we, we're going to have a lot of or uh, several uh, settings or uh, controllers in here. So let's put a, a priority on this one. So priority, and this is the first one. So I'm going to put one here. Okay, let's save it. Uh, let's see if I screwed anything up. So let's go in our back end to our appearance and customize. And here you can see the landing page and our background image. All right. So let's, um, well, you can't see anything here yet. Um, so what we need to do, well, this is the front page actually. So uh, what we actually need to do here is we need to go to our, uh, let's go to our landing page in our file structure. And uh, let's just bring this one in. So first I'm gonna create a div and I'm using uh, VS Code with uh, Emmet. So to get an ID, because I'm going to need an ID here, just uh, the, uh, the hash mark. And then uh, I'm going to call this ID landing underscore page, like this. And I know I realize the easiest way to bring in a background picture like this is to uh, do an in style uh, on this one. So first, uh, what I'm going to do is after the ID, I'm going to add style like this, and then a background image like this, and then we need the URL. All right, and here in this uh, URL, we're going to bring in a PHP function because now we're going to bring in the uh, theme mod and the background image. So uh, remember, we need echo, we print it out, and we need to get 
the theme um, mod and then uh, in here we need to bring in the uh, the settings ID which was uh, background image so if you go back here you can see we need a settings ID so background image this one here all right and after the background image um, we need the uh, the uh, uh, default image so again get template dir directory URI that uh, underscore directory underscore URI like this and again the uh, um, where the folder is where the image is located in our file structure um, so again a uh, string like this and um, let's put it uh, okay, let's do this so we get everything on the same page and uh, it's a folder image and coder dot uh, png I think it was right it was uh, okay all right and then close it off and um, then close the PHP tag and after this we need to also close off the uh, uh, background image URL and um, that's pretty much it let's save it and uh, let's go to our front end landing page refresh now it's not showing up because we need to do we actually need to style this one to tell um, WordPress well, we need to style it basically all right so let's go into our style and the uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, for the landing page remember we had an ID of landing page and in here just uh, do the background size um, cover all right and then uh, we need the background position position and the background position is going to be center and then we need uh, height this picture and we need it's a full size right one page so 100 view height like this all right so let's uh, save it and let's refresh so now we have the picture nice okay awesome so the picture background picture is there now let's uh, add some uh, text to headers and a button so let's start with the uh, with the button oh sorry the uh, the header so let's go back to our custom customizer and uh, in here let's uh, add another setting so let's add it right under the, the controller for the image and uh, again same here the hook customize add a setting and in this setting uh, just name it uh, headline and a string of course headline and then an array close it up like this let's also scroll up a little so you can see and uh, in the in this um, setting uh, we just need default value and um, default should be uh, uh, first and uh, double underscore string um, maybe uh, just uh, put something simple well welcome to my fan fantastic landing page something like this and then uh, we need um, the uh, uh, the uh, we need the uh, the ID of the uh, setting um, so let's put that there right so um, no actually we need you uh, to We'll see I Y. Alright, and then for uh, the type. Um the type is again Fimod. 
like this. All right, after setting, let's just add a control for this one. The underscore co uh, customize. Add control. All right, and uh, the ID for this one, the settings ID was headline. And then an array. Semicolon at the end, and in this one here, let's uh, let's first let's just add a uh, a label. Label and um, the label just headline, I guess. So on double underscore, then uh, headline, and then uh, the package YouTube one's called CIY. And under label, just uh, associate to a section. And in the section, just do uh, uh, the section was a landing page, if I'm not mistaken. All right, landing page. Landing page. Okay, cool. And after this one, let's also set the uh, priority. And in the priority, Number two. All right, so let's uh, save uh, save this one here, and uh, let's head back here to our customizer and uh, refresh. All right, in our landing page, all right, we get the headline right there, full page landing page in WordPress. Okay, so uh, we have not uh, we don't have it on our front end because we haven't. Uh, Put it in there, right? Uh, let's see. What's not the same? Welcome to my fantastic landing page. Maybe. Oh, maybe it should be the ID here. Add setting. Uh, add setting headline array. So default landing page. And let's uh, let's try this. Hmm, let's see, we can uh, sort this one out. Okay, so I found out the problem. So I already used this ID headline uh, when I did some research for this uh, video. Um, so we need to find another um, ID. So I'm just going to name it my underscore headline like this. And uh, after doing this, we have the new one. Welcome to my fantastic landing page. So if I refresh there. Go back and you can see welcome to my fantastic landing page. All right, so next uh, thing we need to do is uh, let's add uh, the second header, like a little mini header, if you will. So under the controller for uh, uh, the main headline, let's uh, again bring in the hook, customize, and add another setting. And in this uh, setting, let's uh, name it uh, again, my, um, let's see, maybe mini header, like this, my mini header, and then an array, semicolon to close it off, and then uh, with a default value. And you should know by now, uh, double underscore, and uh, default maybe, uh, uh, let's call it this is the second header. So we now know this one, right? This is the second header. And let's bring in the uh, YouTube underscore CIY. And then under default, let's put in the type. And again, a theme mod. So theme mod like this. All right, and then uh, the controller for this one. So mice, let's scroll down, scroll up a little bit so you can see, customize, let's add a uh, control for this one. And here we need to bring in the settings ID. So my underscore mini scroll header, then array, close it off the semicolon. 
and in here we need first uh, of course a label and uh, the label should be uh, just uh, let's put it as a mini header so then we know you can name it anything you want there and then the same to let's go CIY then uh, next we need the uh, uh, the section and uh, the section here is a uh, landing page and then uh, type I didn't put in type up here uh, I can put it in there but it's um, it will automatically it's default be uh, something like this text area usually is a bit bigger um, so if you don't want a big text area just leave it you don't have to put in the type even so uh, but in our case we need a text area there just to show you so uh, we need text area and the priority is uh, actually three this one so let's save this let's go back and uh, let's refresh the site let's go back to landing page and this is the second area you can see it's a text area here instead of just a text field uh, if you don't want text area just leave you don't have to put in the type if you don't want to so that's that now let's add a uh, sales button because uh, no landing page is complete without one so under the controller for the mini header let's uh, once again bring in the customize hook and add a setting and in the setting um, let's call this let's start with the text on the button first all right so let's call it uh, my underscore uh, button like this and then an array We'll start off with a semicolon and the first uh, value is a default value like this and uh, default again double underscore and text I read more maybe is that what people do read more yes let's do that then for YouTube underscore CIY and then uh, the type as usual theme mod okay and then uh, for the control so vp underscore customize and let's add control to this one and the id was my underscore button then an array We'll set off the semicolon and uh, first we need a label and uh, let's see what we can put here for a label maybe text on button or button text uh, let's see, button text okay and then youtube underscore ciy and after the label just uh, associate it to a section And the section is a landing page. And um, then we'll also add a priority to this one. And priority four. Let's save it. Let's uh, head back here to the back end. Let's refresh. Go into our landing page. Scroll down, and there we go. The button text. Read more. Now, let's also add a URL for this button because so, it has to go somewhere and we can set that in the customizer as well. So under the control, let's uh, just add uh, the, uh, the hook again. Customize and add a setting. Add setting, um, maybe uh, my button. URL. 
it's a URL we need here. Then an array as always. And a semicolon and the, let's see the default. It's going to be um, yeah. You can make up any default here you want. I'm just gonna make up a nonsense uh, URL. So uh, HTTP and all that good stuff. Dot uh, your URL dot com. It's not gonna lead anywhere. But you can put in anything you want there, obviously. And YouTube underscore CIY. And the type theme mod. There we go. And then uh, let's add a control for this one. MP underscore customize. Add control all right and the ID was my button uh, URL and an array like this and a semicolon at the end and let's uh, scroll up a little bit so easier to see and in this array we need a label first of all and this label double underscore and um, um, button URL. Let's keep it uh, keep it simple. And then again the YouTube underscore CIY. And then uh, for the section, once again, was the landing page. Landing page and. Then the priority should be, uh, in this case, five. Let's save it and let's uh, refresh. And in our landing page, we scroll all the way down. We have the button URL. Awesome. Now let's uh, head over here to our front end, the landing page. All right. So right now. We only have the picture. So let's bring rest, the rest of the information in. Um, so we have a page landing page.php. And in this uh, file, let's add the rest. All right. So after the div, or in the div, uh, with the idea of landing page, let's uh, add the rest. So first, uh, maybe an h1 tag. And let's open up the PHP tags. Uh, and let's close it at the same time. All right, so let's echo. Get underscore theme underscore mod. And the first one is the settings ID. So our settings ID was uh, for the headline, my headline. So just uh, copy. The best way is to copy. Uh, Double click. That's why I use an underscore here, so you can copy the whole, whole thing. But double click on, on it. Uh, this this way you won't have any spelling errors and any any other errors that way. And uh, then the uh, the default text. So this is the main header. And uh, close it off there. Okay. Save it refresh and you see it here this is the main header okay now let's bring in the uh, little mini header right there so i'm going to uh, use a, uh, a p tag for this one again just open up the php tags and then in here same echo get the mod and as a string, the uh, settings ID for the uh, for the mini header. Uh, so my mini header, like right there. Let's copy it, and let's go back and paste it like this. And um, just put in this. Oops, I need a string there, right? So this is the second header, and uh, let's have it right there. Now, next thing is the uh, button. 
All right, so actually it's gonna make it an A tag. And in the href right here, I'm gonna open up a PHP tag. This here is the URL. Let's put that one in. So let's do an echo get theme underscore mod. And in this one, I think we have the ID of, uh, let's see, the URL, my button URL, like this. Paste it in. And in the default values, it's just this one HTTP dot your URL dot com and then uh, close it off right there and then we need a class so outside the PHP tag and the URL uh, let's create a class let's uh, do a this button class okay and uh, then after button in here let's uh, output the uh, the sales uh, text or call to action text text if you want so echo get underscore theme underscore mod in here let's bring in uh, the button text um, this my button right there and then uh, let's bring in the uh, default value which was a read more like this and then let's close it off and end the php tag and uh, let's uh, hit save a refresh you got it right here nice all right as you can see it doesn't look beautiful so let's uh let's uh style this uh beauty so let's go into our style sheet and uh we are going to First, work a little bit more with, uh, with some general tags. So I'm going to go all the way at the top, and then uh, this star sign is a uh, it's a general uh, or a, uh, a more of a public, I would say, um, uh, more of a public um, asset for CSS. So this will change. Uh, the style settings for the whole uh, website for all elements right and we don't need a margin or a padding so as you can see our page here here's a uh, margin and a padding so we need to remove that so let's just put in margin of zero and padding of zero okay let's save it let's uh, refresh all right, so now we got this one here. The reason I got this here up here is because I'm I'm uh, logged in to my site. So what we can do here actually is just uh, log out, and I'll I show you. So if I refresh here, that one disappears. Okay, uh, you can set that in in, in settings in your uh, on your dashboard, but uh, for this reason, it's gonna. Uh, log out. All right, so that's that. So now let's uh, style this one to something uh, that looks uh, representable. All right, so let's uh, start with the body. All right, so let's open up the body tag there. All right, so in the body, I'm just gonna have another margin of zero, and then a font family, and the font family. I'm gonna use uh, Arial, nothing. Fancy here sounds uh, serif like this, and I'm uh, going use uh, main color is going to be uh, white. Let's see uh, what that looks like, and then the line height is going to be 1.6. Let's uh, end it there. Let's take a look. Nothing special is going to happen here, really, as the text is going to turn white. All right, uh, okay, so that's the body. So let's continue to work here with the landing page. So we're gonna use um, flex, all right, flex box. So first display flex 
there are many awesome courses on uh, on flex on the flexbox out there on youtube so i i suggest you check them out if you uh, want to know more uh, but we're just gonna continue here with uh, our landing page id so flex uh, direction the flex uh, flex direction is, uh, direction is going to be a column and then I uh, to just define the content so center it uh, it's going to be center no surprise there and then align items all right also going to be center because we need everything to be centered and then uh, text text a line you can put this as center or in my case I'm just going to put it as justify and then the padding is going to be zero and then 20 pixels so let's see what that looks like so refresh all right so now it's in the middle here so this is uh, pretty good so this is the main header uh good good it's a second header nice let's um, go back to our field and uh, let's see let's just uh, go down here to uh, uh, the h1 tag landing page h1 then uh, font size 50 pixels then uh, line height 1.2 okay see what that looks like around oh, nice uh, okay so this is the main header actually we did have another one right let's uh, go back into our WordPress site and appearance customize yeah right we had this one welcome to my fantastic landing page all right so let's figure out what the problem here is uh, okay so what i did was i, I put this one in here the, this is the main header instead for us uh, instead of uh, this one here so let's uh let's just copy this one what a moronic mistake uh let's see like this and let's what was the uh second this is the second header let's just put that one in there as well this is second header oh, it's already in there all right and then control save and then uh, in the front page let's refresh all right here we go cool all right so now let's do the button um this one here right so let's go back to our style and um let's uh well let's do the p tag first actually so landing underscore page p this is the p tag right and uh, then let's uh, move on there to and font size so let's make this a little bit bigger just so uh, it looked pretty small and on a landing page you want it to be uh, easily readable for the uh the visitor so let's uh, add it to 20 pixels see what it does all right so this is second header so let's uh just close this one and uh, let's just uh, log out there <clears throat> all right then refresh all right there we go nice let's uh continue on here shall we okay so the button itself so uh, we had one button there so got landing let's go page and we had a button like this so let's do the font size font size 18 pixels then text decoration to none and uh, color um let's make it white and the border we need a border around the the button so it's so we can see it uh I'm just gonna do two pixel line and uh, maybe a reddish color so make it uh, pop out a little bit uh not that one and a like this and make it solid and then the padding 
of uh, 10 pixels and 20 pixels 10 pixels uh, up and down and 20 pixels pixels on the side and then the border radius should be 10 pixels then the margin top like this 20 pixels all right let's save it and uh, let's uh, refresh all right boom you got a, a nice little button here all right now let's uh, um, like make, let's uh, add something when we hover over the button here otherwise it looks uh, a little bit too static so let's go back here and uh, again landing page and class of button and then a hover all right so we we'll want the background to change and uh, let's uh, use the same color as the uh, as the border uh 5a like this and uh, yeah that's that's about it actually and then um, the color of the text needs to change so let's uh well actually i don't need to do that really no do i let's save it and let's uh, control r now when we hover boom we got a little is it red or pinkish um i don't know it's beautiful that's what i know all right so that that now uh this is a landing page now i haven't uh you can i haven't done anything more on the back end Ad added any other pages or anything uh, but you can add that here as well so um nothing else been done here so just have a look here so let's take a look so see if it's uh mobile friendly and uh, it's not right so you can see here this is not good looking so let's let's add let's add that all right so we're going to do a media query so it starts with at media let's do a max width of uh, maybe uh, 750 pixels and in this one let's do landing page in general um so let's see and uh, no let's do landing page h1 because that's the one we're working with uh, so text align instead of justify let's do center center like this let's refresh all right so now it's looking it's looking much better okay all right and then you can set the uh, uh the media query to to uh other values than 750 pixels uh, that's up to you guys all right so just to show you that this one is working uh let's uh log back in again uh not that one like this and uh, let's go to our appearance customize now listen uh, that's actually the uh, front page um so but let's just take a look here let's change uh let's change the image let's change image see if i have any images so let's see select files i'm just gonna use this one phone advertisement open and I'm just gonna choose the image. All right, and then publish. Then go back to our landing page and refresh, and see you got the new image there, right? So that's one. That one's working. So you can do more here in terms of styling. You can add a little, maybe um, uh, the opacity here, make it a little bit darker, so uh, the text here is uh, more visible. But I'll leave that up to you. So that's about it, actually. Um, so this is an overview here of the uh, WordPress customizer API and how you can change and add uh, various sections and, and functions and features to it. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next.